what's up guys we're back with another pro dash video earlier i had a customer call in needing some assistance with wiring in and calibrating rife liquid temp sensors to his holly pro dash so i thought it'd be beneficial to make video on this as that is the whole reason why i started this channel was to help people that had questions with their pro dash so it was pretty easy there's just one little trick to it first things first is we're going to need the calibration table now this is available on the website in the upper left corner. There's two drop down menus. One says categories, the other says resources. Under resources, it should be the first or the second one from the top. It'll say Rife Scaling and Calibration. Click on that and scroll until you find the sensor of your choice. In this case, we're gonna be under the temp sensors and then in the liquid temp sensors. This is the table that will pop up. If you purchase a sensor, you will also get the matching or the corresponding scaling table for your sensor. If you buy multiple sensors, you should be getting an email with multiple sensors. Anyways, if you for some reason didn't get it, don't have it, deleted the email, whatever, you can also get these tables on your own through the website or one of the sales reps will get email them to you. Anyways, this is a 32 cell table for the Holly on both Terminator X software and on the Pro Dash. It will use a 16 cell table. Instead of using all 32, just do use every other cell. The next quirk in this is... Okay, when you're setting this up, this one needs to be set as a custom CTS or a coolant temperature sensor. And when we go to select that, you're going to start from left to right, high temp to low temp, and low resistance to high resistance. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why, but when I was scaling these, the Holly was not a fan of having resistance values go from high to low, it wanted it instead to go from low to high. So that's the way you're gonna scale this. Again, entering in every other value. So in 20 degree increments. One of the issues that we had having customers use the linear linearize X and Y buttons. These sensors will be the most accurate when you enter in exactly the scaling data per cell. That is pretty much it as far as the setup and the scaling and calibration of the Rife sensors, specifically the Rife temperature sensors onto here. If the sensors are reading off and you're looking for assistance, the first step things that we would have you do is, would be to troubleshoot. So you would pop off the connector at the back of the sensor if you can reach it and back probe it. You'd compare your reading on your multimeter, which would be set in the ohms scale. Make sure that if you have one that will auto range, it, pay attention to what that calibration is. Had a customer say they had single digit readings and it turned out that it was in the kilo ohm scale not passing any judgment but it was an easy thing to miss and when right over here is just barely visible that it was reading in the kilo ohm scale instead of reading seven ohms it was reading 7.2 7, and 200 ohms is a big difference so like i said we would have you check the resistance here at the back of the connector we would also have you read here at the back of the plug if possible if you have a setup like mine where i have each terminal for each sensor on a terminal strip, it would be really easy to test here also. What that's gonna do is it is going to eliminate any potential wiring issues that maybe the sensor is actually reading seven, nine, 10,000, whatever it is for that temperature. But up here, there could be a open circuit or a short circuit that would give you a false reading at your ProDash. Verifying the sensor reading for the resistance, both at the sensor itself and then here, up here. Eliminating the possibility of bad wiring or a failed crimp, failed solder, something like that, will aid a lot in troubleshooting your system. That's it for this one. Just had a couple customers over the last few weeks or whatever have issues, thought making this might assist them in setting up the Rife sensors on the Pro Dash or on the Holly EFI. Like I said, a couple little quirks, it wasn't too bad. It was. It's just not quite as simple as selecting the actual sensor in the drop down. The Rife liquid temp sensors may or may not be in your Holly software. The air intake temperature should be in the drop down menus on your Holly software. If not, you probably have old software. Just update to the new one and it should be in there. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Some videos up here that you might find interesting. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Shirts and stickers are in the store. Link down in the description.